Well, we mentioned yesterday we would start a fairly short series on the book of Proverbs, just picking various Proverbs. And we talked yesterday a little bit about the subject matter of wisdom as just an introduction. In Proverbs 9.10, the scriptures tell us, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And you got to ask yourself the question, why wouldn't it say the study of God's word is the beginning of wisdom? We certainly get wisdom there, or prayer, or wise counsel. But it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the purpose behind that statement is simply this. God knows all things. He's omniscient. He knows the beginning from the end. He is all wise. The fear of the Lord simply means that you respect and have reverence for his wisdom, for his counsel. So if I fear the Lord, I won't get involved in immorality. I won't get involved in unethical practices. That doesn't mean that life will go smoothly. It doesn't mean there won't be any difficulties. But it does mean that you won't experience the natural consequences of doing that which is wrong. And there's enough trouble in life without bringing natural consequences on yourself or myself. So that's the purpose behind that statement. And from that, we're going to use that as sort of an anchor, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And we'll start working our way through various sections of Proverbs, and we will see why that is true. We will see why the proper words coming from the Lord, uh, proper eye contact, things we're to look at, not look at, places to go, places to avoid, companions to seek, people to avoid. All those things are going to be born out of the statement, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So I hope you'll join us in this uh, fairly short study on the book of Proverbs. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you tomorrow.